Okay, we're at the University of Pennsylvania. And this is about old willow here.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it is my pleasure to ask you to please rise and greet Mr.
Pretty good. What do you got to say, Dave? It's a sex toy. <laughs> so, Dave, what caught. do you think? It's pretty good. You eat that last bite? No, I'm gonna no. leave that. I always leave the last bite. <laughs> Just think of something you're really hungry. You're gonna think about all those last fights you left. We should have. Yeah. Well, I'll be old if I can, so I will remember. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not shaking the camera a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's go shopping. Oh, okay. I'm taking a picture of the sign, David. Oh. <laughs> 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 Here you are, blocking the sign. It's up over well, your head. What sign are you going for now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we are in Yellow Springs. Ohio. Ohio, yeah. Made out of wood. Jerry's buying stuff down there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Better get down there. Thank you. 
This is the uh, Clifton Gorge area up by Yellow Springs, Ohio. Here's it down below. Who may never go back to the audience alive. Okay, you. And what is your name? Mary Kay. Mary Kay? Is your last name Products? Never mind. Mary Kay, did you volunteer for this? No. This is the wrong answer, Mary Kay. Thank you very much for playing. Take her back, Al. All right, it's up to you to save Mary Kay's life. You have to put these dilithium crystals in this unit. You two need to push these buttons before the clock goes down to zero. Read dilithium. I know, I know, it's clean and easy. Roll cameras. One more time. Struggle with the lever. Trying to gain control. so we see it. Okay? Why don't you try one? How loud are you going to do it? Everything's quiet here, sir. That's good, that's good, that's good. And, and the humor's a good thing to add. That's a good choice. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. <laughs> Roll cameras. Cut, cut, wait, hold on. Wait, sorry. Yeah, the communicator. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's, he's like 40 million miles up there. You, you can't just shout it out. All right, so hold the communicator up. That's perfect. One more time. Roll cameras. So we're going to have a big rock fight between those disgusting guys, the Klingons, and the good guys, the Enterprise. 
Cars Crew! Yay! Klingons, when I tell you to, I want you to take these rocks. I want you to destroy these Enterprise folks. <laughs> what did you say? What did you just say? City scenes right now, I think that was going on last week, and which will be going on next week. These streets were also used as Old Chicago for a movie starring Paul Newman and Robert Redford called The Sting. This was New York City for a movie from 20th Century Fox, Home Alone 2. On my side, take a look down the street there. You see the brown building in the center of my Back to the Future fans. Right here, well, guess where we are? Welcome to Hill Valley. The site of the Back to the Future movies. There's the famous courthouse. With the clock up on top, that's where the lightning storm scene took place. By the way, we have a live special effects show here. It's called the Back to the Future Special Effects Stage. They'll show you how that lightning storm is used for exterior shooting, but sometimes we need a little more control over the lights and the sounds of the special effects. So sometimes we have to build an exterior set inside of a sound stage. And that's what we've done in this sound stage. show you the old... All right, William, take this other road next. All right, over here. Yeah, it's closed? Oh. Is this okay, though? This is okay. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, William says it's okay, so we're, it's been up for 80 years, I'm sure. trees you might see the sprinklers that we use to make the rain same way we do it for the movies we point them our sprinklers up towards the sky so when the water comes down it comes down like real rain and we put a little white dye in the water it shows up better on camera that way for the flood we dump thousands of gallons of water from tanks up on top of the hill recycle it right back up we use the same water all day long this is how we created the flood effects for the river starring Bell Gibson and Sissy Spacek and the 
Chevy Chase shot another picture right here. You might recognize our Old Mexico section from the Three Amigos from Orion. Old Mexico here is also where Janet Jackson shot her Escapade video. If you're not where you are right now than anywhere else in the world. We call this area Six Points, Texas, because from this one central location, we have six streets, and each street is its own western town. It's got its own hotel, its own bank, its own saloon, and at one point, we could shoot six westerns here at the same time. In fact, we used to bring the public in here, put them up on bleachers, and let them watch movies being shot, and we let them scream and yell as loudly as they wanted because these were so fledged lips. We'll see some huts from the Gilligan's Island TV movies based on the series. This is all the metal that you see here. This was part of the many different foreign embassies. All we have to do to make it a different foreign embassy is change the flag out front. <laughs> of course, they're all just facades. All the interior scenes that uh, we do around here are done on a soundstage over on our front lot. I don't even remember the Castle Rock movie City Slickers with Billy Crystal. Do you remember the opening scene in Pamplona, Spain? Welcome to Pamplona, Spain. It was right up this little cobblestone street that Billy Crystal was chased by a whole herd of bulls. This was Pamplona, Spain, and it could be any European city we want it to be. All we have to do is change the set decorations, the languages on the street signs, etc. This was Paris for a very famous episode of Beverly Hills 90210. This is all of Europe that Tori Spelling got to see in that Aaron Spelling TV show. It became a sort of tradition for every movie monster to make at least one appearance right here. The original Frankenstein's monster actually walked along these streets. So did the very first Wolfman, Bella Lugosi as Count Dracula. There's the Invisible Man. <laughs> Don't look, he's invisible. The monster movies of the 30s helped us get through the Depression. They were inexpensive to produce. We could use these same sets over and over again. And you didn't need any big name stars. All you had to do was put some makeup on somebody. A lot of the actors didn't like wearing makeup. Bella Lugosi turned down the part of Frankenstein's monster because they thought nobody would recognize him. So the part went to a guy named Will. Applause. You Somebody on the last tram asked me how they got Francis to talk. I told him there was another mule off camera who was a ventriloquist. <laughs> Actually, they put peanut butter on the roof of his mouth, and when he went to lick it, his lips would move, and actor Chill Wills would dub in his voice. Probably the biggest animal star we ever had, though, starred in the film Jaws. Welcome, everyone, to Amity Island, where the citizens were terrified by a great white shark. Now, hey, now see there's a guy fishing out there. Would there, would there be any danger if that guy were just enjoying the day out there on his little boat fishing? Uh-oh. Uh, it's a shark. Yeah, it's a shark. And, uh, that looks like a big one. Sorry, right, everybody, make sure you stay in your seats as we move across the pier here. And, hey, he's going for the guy in the boat. Hey, you! Yo, what's your name? Pete! Pete, there's a shark right <laughs> Yikes. Uh, this was no boat accident. We've been trying to catch this shark for a long time now. We put some bait attached to that buoy out there, but so far the shark's been too smart to take it. So he's got the bait! He's got, he's got the pier. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Anybody want to go 
swimming. Down here, you'll be able to see them on the driver's side. Amity Island doubles as this, this house was built to open up on hinges like a dollhouse to allow easier access to the cameras of the crew. A duplicate of this house was built in Texas for just one or two scenes, but practically the entire film was shot right around this house. Now the driver's side, you'll see another house that might look familiar to you from the movie Animal House. This is the sorority house, the one that John Belushi put the ladder up against to take a peek in through the window. And also on the driver's side, the next house is where it's also on the driver's side from the classic TV series, The Munsters. That's 1313 Mockingbird Lane right there. The yellow house on the drive, Macaulay Culkin lived in the Michael Jackson video. Now we're gonna go up in front of the house right now, take a nice close up look. There's a little pathway, whenever Anthony Perkins stood in front of the house, he would appear to be bigger, more men is the magic of Alfred Hitchcock, and they will show you how the shower scene was filmed. Once again, the slightest sound in here might cause... Uh-oh. Well, sorry. Uh, grab onto something, everybody. We're going around. If you get dizzy, close your eyes. some of our 35 sound stages where we do movies and TV shows in front of live audiences as we make our way back. Gloria, the turbos, this car could travel through time with the help of a flux capacitor and the hover conversion enabled it to fly. But getting those shots wasn't easy because it took 15 different cars to make these films. We did start with a real working DeLorean that was used for the driving scenes, but for most of the flying sequences, we use this. This is called a picture car because it looks like a real DeLorean, but it's only made out of fiberglass and plastic, and that's what it looked like in the movie. The car doesn't really fly. To make it look as though it's floating, we would tow it with a truck. Or we could lift it with a crane, or use a special effect called a forklift. Three days to plan and shoot, but it only lasts a few seconds when you watch. Sometimes when we shoot a scene inside of a car, the actors don't need to sit in a full car. In this scene, Michael J. Fox, Elizabeth Shue, and Christopher Lloyd are only sitting in the inner shell of the car. The shell that they're sitting in, okay? Now, Stephen, you're going to be working the wiper, so I'll tell you when to do that. The rain, you'll see the rain coming out of the pole right here. In the car, we have Shane. Shane, you need to turn the wheel back and forth. You're going to be driving. Watch the road at all times. And Sarah, look at Shane. Does he look like he knows how to drive a car? No. <laughs> so your job, you have to scream during the whole scene. Are you ready? OK, start rocking, start screaming, action. <laughs> gonna make a great mother in law. <laughs> okay, we've got a background plate with background footage. When we add the fan, it creates wind, <laughs> fog machine clouds, lights for cars flying past. And Steven, here comes the rain. Hit the wipers back and forth. We I think she's screaming because Shane can't see with a dashboard. Where is Shane? Where is Shane? Oh, there's Shane. Shane's looking at the girl. He's not watching her. Okay, and cut. That is exactly how the scene was shot. to make sure they snap together. So snap them all. Metal must touch metal. All the way together. Now, Andrew. Andrew, you like... Andrew? Hey, you. And... <laughs> Julio, call 9-11.
911. <laughs> How about a round of applause for Andrew? He can hear you backstage. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 